Okay, pilots. Looks like I got a new box. Got a big box on the porch when I got home from work. Look at the blue tape. Look at the blue tape. What's the name on the bottom? <laughs> Let's see what we have. I've been wanting this aircraft for a long time. And believe it or not, I was wanting this brand, didn't want the other brand. I wanted this brand simply for one reason. It was bigger. It was bigger. And everybody says it's just as good as the other one. Flip this around this way. We got an attention here. Notify within 30 days, product arrive. Special in the mall, outside 30 days, warranty prior. Complete warranty details, please see full warranty policy on global website. I have no receipt. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Thank you. I got me a yak. I got me a yak. Now they've done a few versions of this. Uh, this is this is a version, if I'm not mistaken, it is a version three. With a 2100 kV in runner. But there's also something else new about it. And that something else was the thing that put my finger on that button. That's right. You'll we'll see it here in just a second. This is a free wing. Free wing is known as one of the top brands. And they they pack their product the best they can. There's a few out there that just I don't know pilots they act like they just don't care about their product. I mean. You know, They'll pack it up and there'll be stuff flying all over the place. Ooh, -wee. look at that. That ain't red. That's not the color red. Got another couple of war warnings here. Working high voltage electronic parts. 5.5 volts. Control box, 5.5 volts. White and green LED lights, 3.4 volts. Red light, 2.4 volts. LED, hmm. I didn't think this thing come with LED. Maybe that's just a listening of how much voltage it carries because I've got my LED set all ready to go here. But let's take a look. piece here that holds in the nose. Got another piece right here. And since the owner's manual was on the top, I was thinking I've seen a couple of unboxing videos. Let's make sure. Well, no instruction manual on the bottom no more. I guess they just decided to lay it in the top now. But let's check a few things here. Oh yeah, first I opened it right up to, they asking for an 80 millimeter CG. And I see other things I got in here, but it's wrote in Japan, or Chinese. Let's go down here. Yeah, just a few things, servos already mounted. There's our CG in English, yep. I mean, it's, it's going to be a simple build, 
or assembly because there's a few parts you've got to glue together and just a couple, four screws is in the wing unless they created a new design. We're going to see here. We're going to see here. That's, that's connected. Can't be. It's got to come out of there somehow. Kind of look different taking a few slides out first. I, don't remember, I knew that tail was on there. I knew that tail was on it, but they got it up underneath a piece of stuff on it does not come out. So we, we note that. Look at this green fuselage. I'm opening it up. I'm opening it up. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. It's already got two pilots in it. I thought it, in the pictures, it looks like a gloss finish, Pilots. But this is more of a satin. It's more of a satin. Just look at that. Just look at the, look at the detail. Looks like we got a finger released latch here. We'll get that off in a second. But note the wing mounts are red now. I guess they just used the other. Other well, ones that they had in stock, why not? It's gonna be all covered up. We got a lead going in there. Look at those safety hooks on the new free wing leads. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the the white here is. Maybe that's just something that's on the plane. I mean, uh, it looks like raw. It doesn't look like a piece of plastic. It looks like raw foam. We got leads going in. One lead there, two leads. One for elevator, one for a rudder. Maybe that was like that's pretty nice there, folks. I mean that's pretty nice. A lot's going on. Yep. Let me put this one on here. Oh, that's now for a second. Drop my new jet. I mean this this is that's a nice finish. The other one. Yeah, one there. It's got a little good. Yeah, there's 12 blades on that thing. <laughs> Let's see, you'll probably be able to see it better from this one. Let's see here. Let me get these off. It's a 2100 12 blade fan. Uh, and it's got the landing gear already in too. I won't look at the size of the strut because I'm gonna be putting, let me get my line again. We're putting upgrade struts in it. Note how the gear kind of goes in at an angle on the Yak 130. So I've purchased some special gear. I mean, you know. I think it's got a green wheel. Is that, oh yeah, looks like it's got a green wheel. Russians are known to put like their green, their green rims. Decals are written in Russian. Looks like our engine compartment there on the bottom. I'm going to be putting a booty in it. I'm going to be putting a booty in it. And I'm going to see if I can get a three color ring in there. But it's just going to be a single ring. Since it's a single engine, we'll put a single ring in it and just let the light shine through. I mean, you know, it's going to be, there's no magnet on the front. You glue your nose, but I'm going to put me a magnet maybe right here and right, right up here at the top. I got, let me see here. I know I got some free wing magnets. I know I got some earth magnets. Yeah. Yeah. I got four of them right there. I can put in the nose, keep the nose cone on. 
Keep them magnets, pilots. Keep them magnets. You drop tanks, you missiles, stuff like that. You crash, you crash your plane. Keep them magnets. Keep everything. That's beautiful. I like that satin finish. I didn't care too much for the gloss finish, but I, I like this finish. This is awesome. They need to take another picture of it, put it on the side so they can, it, you know, you can see that. All right, let's see what we got inside this thing. Got a nice detailed cockpit. I got a couple of other pilots I could put in it with orange jumpsuits on, but I don't think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and use them. But boy, you got a lot of room inside that one. Let me get the lights on. Got a lot of room for a six cell. And of course, our landing gear is up under this platform here. But I'm, let's see here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close. We might not be able to get the receiver up there. Sometimes I like when they got a, you know, you got your battery more in the middle of the plane. I like putting my receiver and stuff up here but that cockpit was getting closer, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of open space up here. Look here, pilots, I don't understand. I mean, they got a hole here, but it, you know, it kinda, it goes all the way in there. I'm not sure, not sure. Not sure if that might have meant, been meant for cooling, because I can see, let's see if you can see this. See the hole there in the bottom of the tray, that square rectangle hole that goes out through the landing gear and that's where air comes in for the cooling. And then it gets sucked out through the yeah, the, the EDF. Oh man, just look, just look at a couple of little small detailed, detailed uh, decals right here. Look at this. Just little details, just little details. Okay, we've looked at the fuselage now. We got it. We got an EC. Oh goodness, EC six. I mean, T, T, uh, excuse me, XT sixty N that needs a six cell battery. Now, what I do have is a a thirty three hundred. Let's see if I can find it. I got my thirty three hundred close here. It might be something. Right there it is. Okay, thirty three hundred. Six cell, 30C. Now it comes with a XT60M, but I've got, guess what? Okay. But now I just need this. See? But I need to kind of, you know, swap this around the other way. <laughs> so I might can use a bigger battery. But that's what you got to get. All right. Here's our nose cone. see no damage but it looked like it come out of its hole there yep it come out somehow because it's supposed to be down in that hole but i don't see no damage on it just can't, maybe it didn't move around too much yeah stick these lights up somewhere plastic tip all that from this line right here up is plastic but I'm gonna still put my magnets in it, you know, have it on and off. Now, it goes on like a glove. All right, got some tail feathers. We've got a big piece of tape holding all this in. Let's disperse that. Big piece of tape all across everything. But everything's in a plastic bag, everything's in its place except for that cone. I don't understand it, cone. Did you want to mingle or something? You think there's a party going on? All right, we got our horizontal. And I lost my knife, I did that now. still wanting to go mingle. Would you please stay where I put you? Ooh, ooh, now that's looking good. I see two servos operating the elevator. Yep. 
That's just a little edge of the port, exhaust ports. And notice how the wing has like a, a extension there on the outside. It creates lift, believe it or not. That's kind of like a slat. And then you glue this in. Now these, these glued surfaces need to be cleaned and, and prepped. Look at those, those Russian written. Don't step, no step, no step. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful horizontal. I got my Admiral 600 ready to go in. I got the booty. If it fits the 2100, which I'm, I'm, I'm sure it will. There's Marine. 64 millimeter. I put just a little bit from the smaller size. When it goes out towards the port, they always get a little, start getting a little smaller, a little smaller, a little smaller. But then I've got here, I've got the LED kit that comes with the Flatline P38. Now, the Flatline P38 has LEDs that are inserted in the wing. They're not really on the outside tips. They're inserted in the wing. And then you have a blue box here that controls things. But that's all free wing LEDs there. That's the new style that you've got to have at control box or you'll blow them up. You just stick them into your receiver. That was what that warning is about certain voltages going into certain things. We got a rudder. We got a rudder. I don't know, the Russian star. The orange tips, now that'll help with orientation, you know. But just look at that finish. Just look at it. Do you see any, any of those mold markings? Our little, our little Cupid flowers. I see one right here. There'll be one right there. Kind of look in that area right there. Uh, you barely see it right there. Just, just a little nub. There it is. Is that the only one I see? That's the only one I see. On this side, I see three of them. Let's see if you can see three of them. All right, I gave you a chance. Check this out down here at the bottom. Man. Check this one out over here. I wonder what that is. Gotcha. My, that was my interpretation. But that's beautiful. That's just beautiful. I don't see no markings on it. Nothing that ain't supposed to be there. Nothing. I see a spar going all the way down it from one end of the decal covers up the servo. Ingenious. What do you think about that? I've been telling them that for years. <clears throat> okay. Now, this is going to be a trick. We got a trick here. We got this is a trick. We got a spot. We got a tight spot. I'm going to work this wing out from under this little protrusion in the foam here. And come out and come around. Oh, yeah. Dip, bob, and weave. Dip, bob, and weave. Took them a minute to put this in the box, didn't it? Just look at all these deep, deep decals and details and panel lines. Oh, goodness, man, they went all out on this one. Got a missile rail there, but no, no hookups for anything. But you know me, I got them coming. Don't worry. And of course, you've seen the LED lights. They're gonna be. They're not going to be inserted in the tip of the wing. They might be kind of right up in here. Or I might, you know, decide. I, I got to decide where I'm going to put them. 
Mm. Just look at that. All right, we got one, two, two leads coming out, but my LEDs will be coming. Look at that, look at that big old plastic mount there. Got another down here for the wing. And you got a spar you've got to stick into it. Got that lead going into the hole, I believe. No, here's the hole up here. You gotta put a spar in the wing, glue it in the wing, and then insert it into the fuselage. That way, it'll be a one, two. You undo your screws, you pull it out. You ready to put it back in as soon as you plug it, it leads in. But that one's in perfect shape. Servos already installed. And of course, our free wing clevises with a tube on it to lock them. Leads are labeled. We got another wing. We go hole in the bottom of the styrofoam there. You see that? And then they had the wing right there on that hole. I don't know about that packaging. Packaging manager that could be a could be trouble down the road. So get stuck up through that hole and hits that wing. So I can tell you right now, UPS, Federal Express, it don't matter, they throw in boxes. I, I got the I got the video on my security cameras. Man, it, it looked like he was throwing a 25 yard pass to my porch. There we go. I don't see no damage yet. Not at all. Hard plastic mounts. Notice how they're red. They must be still using the same stock. You know. See how the 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 wings got that that extension on it there like a slat. See? I don't see nothing wrong with that wing. Nothing wrong with that wing. Couple of little flowers is on that one. Couple of little flowers is on that. Our little cherry blossoms. Well, they call them dandelions that grow in the yard. Dandelion looking real funny. All right, there's our new free wing, version three, green. Yak. One thirty. See if our comb, nose comb wants to calm down and start having a natural light up and not go part in no more. Okay, but it ain't gonna stay there. Not until already, it's ready to go. And it's fall off, put the wrong one on. Well, gotta get the servo lead out of the hole. Out of the hole, get out of the hole. Show you a couple more things I'm gonna plan on getting. Putting on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Drop tanks. Unguided missile rocket launchers. Russian unguided bombs. And I've got another set of missiles and ordnance coming. Okay, pilots. That's what you're looking at. The new free wing, yeah, 130. Motion RC has them in stock right now. You better get them fast, though. As soon as this one gets out, I think it's going to be gone. I'm out.